Hey, here are the five apps you're gonna need if you're a cinematographer or videographer. Stay tuned. First, thank you so much for watching this video. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to. Let's get into it. Sunseeker. This app is great if you're trying to plan in advance for where the sun is gonna be or the time of day that you need to be shooting in. If you're looking for that blue hour or golden hour in the morning or in the evening, you can see exactly where the sun's gonna be and you have a really good idea of when you need to start your shoot, end your shoot. You get sun up, sun down, times of day you might wanna avoid. It has a ton of information. It also has an AR view, so you can look at, at you know where you're at in your house or if you're outside or whatever it is and see where everything is. So say there's clouds and you don't know where the sun is. You can kind of see where the sun is at. So if you still want that backlight or if the clouds are gonna be moving, you can really see where the sun's gonna be coming from at all times of the day. This app is a paid app. It is $9.99, but I still recommend it. There are other apps out there. PhotoPill is another one that you could use. This one's more uh, star oriented but it does have an AR tracker for your sun or moon tracking, which is pretty helpful. So Sunseeker is the app that I do recommend, and PhotoPill would be a good backup for that. Kev White Balance. I did a pretty in-depth video about Kev White Balance and the fact that it's a huge asset when it comes to getting correct white balance on set or capturing something if you're pre-planning a shoot and then using it in the future for that same location. This one is also a paid app. It's $1.99, a lot cheaper than Sunseeker. And the utensils within it are super simple and straightforward. You just point your phone at the subject in your scene or your scene in general. It gives you a Kelvin value that you plug into your camera and it's pretty accurate. You can test it between your camera and the app and every time it's pretty close. For like the Canon cameras or the Sony FX6 or certain cameras that are kind of harder to white balance out of the auto white balance tool or button, this makes it a lot more simple when you just want to pull out your phone, grab a quick white balance and go about your day. Another one I highly recommend, Kev White Balance. The Parrot Teleprompter free app, it's kind of a two-parter, you do have to have the teleprompter also to go with it, but this is an invaluable tool if you have people sitting in front of the camera that have to read off of something. And it's super simple. All you have to do is have a phone, your phone, their phone, whatever phone it is, with the app on it, and it has a teleprompter that is on there, and you can control the speed, uh, you can connect to it wirelessly with a Bluetooth little remote, you can control the color, if you want it black or if you want it white background, if you want the color of the text to be red, blue, green, yellow, any of those, you can make the text different sizes, or if you're using different lenses you, or a different size you know, phone or iPad, you can do both of those as long as you have the right teleprompter that you buy with it. It's super simple to use. It helps out a ton when you're trying to get the talent to talk to camera. It's just, it's very simple. And if you have a wide enough lens, you can get it really close to where pretty much anybody can read it with glasses or not. So, highly recommend it. Parrot teleprompter free app. Number four on our list goes to our wireless audio recording systems, such as like our Rode Wireless Goes, our DJI systems, our Tentacle Sync system. Zoom has this system where you can, you can check it on your phone and make sure that everything's working right. These apps are imperative in today's day and age where you may be away from your recording system. So if I'm recording something you know, up on the audio thing in like a building and I'm filming out on the floor, I, need to, may still, I may still need to uh, check that. And I can record off of it also, which is awesome. Apps like my Tentacle Sync system have you know, time code built into them. And the new Rode system does also, which is awesome to have. The Zoom app, you can stop and start recording. You can also monitor your, your audio. All of them you can stop and start, but it's just an imperative app to have in your tool belt when you're doing run and gun or you know, documentary type stuff. If you need to throw up a lav on somebody real fast, you can just start recording off of your phone. It, it just makes it really nice and easy to use this app for audio recording if you don't necessarily need to monitor through your camera. Mine, personally, is the Tentacle Sync app. I love this app. It's, I, I love this whole system, really. It's awesome to have something that is 32-bit float, timecode compatible. You just throw all your stuff into the program on the computer and you have perfectly synced up clips when you go into post-production. No more clapping in front of the camera and making sure that everything's synced up. It makes it really nice. So yeah, your audio control app is an imperative tool for you as a cinematographer or videographer. Your camera control app. 
Your camera control app is another imperative one. If you're away from your camera, if you're doing YouTube talking head stuff like this, or if you are you know, setting your camera up above somebody and you're shooting a top-down scene and you can't get to the buttons to record or whatnot, you can have an app, obviously, that you can control the functionality of your camera with. If you're shooting on a RED camera or an Arri camera or a Sony, Canon, Nikon, all of them have some sort of control app that you can use with your camera to connect Bluetooth wirelessly to it. It makes it super easy when you're trying to frame up a shot and you can't necessarily be with your camera. You can tell someone, hey, move it or whatnot, or if I need to sit here, like this right now, but if I need to see what my camera sees right now, I can just pull up my app and I can make sure that I'm in focus, my settings are all correct, and I can hit record on it so I don't have to get up and touch the camera. It's an imperative tool again to have, and an obvious one at that, that you can use with your camera. So camera control app, number five on the list. Bonus one. We always need to check weather and we need to make sure that when we're going out into the field that our stuff's not gonna get ruined when we're out there. If it's a hurricane and we don't know that it's coming or if it's just your common rainstorm or it's too hot, we don't know. We have to check the weather or go outside and just put your finger up and see which way the wind's blowing. I prefer to check the weather. The weather apps on our phones are fairly cool, they're fine, but I did find this one. It's called Not Boring Weather. I love it. I open it every morning when I wake up because I want to see what the weather's doing and I also want to play with it and the sounds and everything are really cool. It is a paid app, I think it's $14 a year. It's kind of expensive when it comes to a weather app when you get free weather apps on your phone, but I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun to play with. It's just very pleasing. You, know, you can swipe it and flip it around and you can press on it and it gives you little animations and when you're at the coast or something, the birds fly and I don't know, it's number six on the list, a little bonus app, not boring weather. It's a lot of fun. Number seven, another bonus one, notes. Always take notes. Take notes of your settings, take notes of where your locations were, take notes of your talent, take notes. Notes, the, the notes app is one of my most commonly used apps. I use the Apple Notes or I'll use Google Notes. Uh, either one of those I have got, I mean, years of notes in them and I use them all the time. I like to write things down, but I find myself out in the field, I have my phone because I'm already doing this stuff with it. And I can just quickly type something in there, you know, a setting, you know, it's this aperture for this or this white balance here or just something like that. Or I use this filter and I really liked it for this setting or whatever it is. I just, I really like to take notes of where I'm at and what I'm doing. And it's been an awesome tool to have. So notes is your seventh bonus app. So in conclusion, if you're a solo operator or someone who's part of a team, it's nice and sometimes imperative to have these apps. Sometimes you have to have them to be, able, to be able to use the tools that you're using. And I really do recommend each of these. I'm not sponsored by any of these apps. I just use these apps constantly when it comes to on-set productions or out in the field productions. I like to make sure I know what I'm getting into and I can really guide the talent or the customer in what times of day I'm gonna be shooting, I can make sure that my image looks great with my white balance or my camera control app. And I can always make sure that my audio is awesome by double checking it on my phone all the time and just keeping it constant when I, when I need to just make sure that things are sounding, looking, and you know, environmentally good. So that's all I have to say about these apps. I highly recommend each of these and I look forward to hearing what you have to say about this. Or if there's any apps that you use that I didn't mention, Throw them down there in the comments and let me know because I always like to, to hear what people have to say about these tools. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. Hope you got something out of this. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe maybe if you want to, no pressure. We'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.